Assalamu alaikum. Hello, my dear student of class 2. Welcome to all of you in our online classroom. I hope you all are fine by the grace of Almighty Allah. Well, I'm your science teacher, Muhammad Indya Jamed, and today I'm going to talk about the rest of the part of part 2. That means the question answer of this part 2. You know, the part 2 is connected with the chapter 4, 5, and 6. And in my last class, I have talked about the word meaning, the fill in the blanks, and <clears throat> and there were MCQ in that part. Well, today we will start the rest of the part. But before starting this, I would like to share one thing that I have done a big mistake in the last class, and you have to correct it in the page 40 in part a question there is a question number four well uh, there were the kingfisher is a kind of fish actually the fill in the blanks was given fish but the correct answer will be it's a bird kingfisher is a bird okay so you have to correct it and then we will start the rest of the part first of all we will do the identification in page 21 well Open your textbook and the page 21, uh, 28, I'm sorry, is, it will be page 28. Please open, the, open that page. You can see some pictures of animals and we have to identify what is their name. From the left and the top part, we have a white color animal which is known as rabbit. Well, which is known as rabbit. In the next, we have and it's quite familiar with us and we know the name of this animal is cat well the name of this animal is cat and the next the right part there is another white color uh, animal and it is very popular in the uh, winter based country because its body their uh, body is very useful for us we get the wool from it and the name of this animal is sheep the name of this animal is sheep and the next at the bottom left we can see a big a tall neck animal which is known as the camel we know that camel lives on the desert so the name of this animal is camel and the right part in the the black color animal which is known as we know all their name is elephant the name of this animal is elephant now please open your page 35 the question number f you will see some pictures of animals and we have to identify their name and we need to write their name under the fill in the blanks well in the left part the number one animal is known as the vulture vulture is a kind of bird uh, we know the name of this animal is vulture and number two we know it's a very beautiful bird which is known as peacock the name of this bird is peacock and number three it is also familiar with us because this bird is uh, in our locality we can see this kind of bird the name of this bird is parrot the name of this bird is parrot now in number four we have a beautiful bird with a variety of color in his body and the name of this bird is kingfisher the name of this bird is kingfisher in number five the bird is not familiar with us because normally they uh, they can create some kind of sound during the night and they're known as the owl the name of the bird is known as the owl now please open your page 39 question number one there are some animals those who live under the sea and we will identify them and we will write their name on the blank in the left part there is an animal with a round shaped head and a lot uh, uh, a lot of like a fingers actually the name of this animal is octopus 
the name of this animal is octopus in the middle the fish is look like a star the fish is looks like a star that's why the name of the fish is starfish the the name of this <coughs> animal is starfish and the right part if you look is looks like a horse the head of this uh, animal is looks like a horse but it normally it sleeps in under the sea that's why it is known as seahorse it is known as seahorse in the left part whenever you can see the picture of this animal is quite familiar in our country because there is a lot of uh, we can see the a lot of number of this animal we can see in the cox Bajar sea beach and the name of this animal is crab the name of this animal is crab in the middle in our country sometimes we can see in the seashore and sometimes we cannot the name of this animal is jellyfish the name of this animal is jellyfish and the right is most popular and we love to eat this kind of animals the name of this animal is lobster or sometimes it is known as shrimp so both the answer is right you can write any one if you like you can write the lobster on there you can write the shrimp on there so this all was the identification now we will talk about the true or false that means if a statement is true we'll write true beside it and if the statement is wrong we will write the false please open your page 34 question number a there are eight true false we will find out either the sentence or statements are true or not you can see that in number one all birds can fly well normally we can think that we have seen all the birds can fly so it can be true actually it's not true it's false why because we know a bird named ostrich it cannot fly that's why we cannot say that all birds can fly question number two birds are the only animals with feathers well we know that only the birds have feathers in their body so it's a true question number three the ostrich is taller than a man if you have the textbook you can see that the picture shows the ostrich size of the ostrich is much bigger than a human that's why the statement is true question number four birds are born with feathers well we know birds have the feather but whenever they're born there is no feather in their body that's why the statement is false in question number five birds have air in their bodies yes birds have air in their bodies that's why it's a true question number six some birds have four legs actually uh, it, it's not true because whatever we see which can fly in the sky they all are not birds some are insects they can fly but they have a lot of legs but they are not bird they are actually the insects that's why we will see that it's a false statement so some birds have four legs is a false statement question number seven down feathers are softer than the flight feathers yes it is true because down feathers are quite soft if you look the body of a uh, of a chicken or, or a dog you can see that their flight feathers are much harder and their body feathers are much softer so it's a true statement question number eight birds are vegetarian that means they do not eat the meat normally we can think that the birds do not eat the meat but the vultures and uh, the other uh, some of the birds eat actually the dead animals that's why they eat the meat so the statement is false now we will learn the question answer of this bird in first question it says that how do the parents look after a baby bird the answer says the parents feed their babies and keep them warm that means whenever you see the nest of a bird you can see that the normally the parents collect the food from the outside and they feed their babies with their mouth and try to keep
keep them inside there in, inside the feather and try to keep them warm in question number two what kind of feathers do bird have we know that birds have three kinds of feathers one is down feathers another is body feathers and number three is flight feathers so how many kinds of birds uh, feathers are there we know there are three three kinds of bird uh, feathers are there in a in a bird and they are down feathers body feathers and flight feathers question number three what are baby fishes called well the name the answer is baby fishes are called fry that means a small fish which is known as fry so we will call the base small fish as a fry small fish means newborn fish those who can uh, swim in the uh, in the water and if you can look them their size is very tiny so they will known as the fry question number four why does a giraffe have a long leg you know the answer is a giraffe has a long neck to take the leaf if you can see the figure of a giraffe actually it uh, normally a giraffe take the food from the top part of the trees that means the soft uh, leaves from the trees due to these the the creator has created its neck quite tall like not like the others is quite exceptional that's why the giraffe has a long neck question number five what do animals eat the answer is animals eat plants and meat we know that we all eat variety of vegetables and also we love the meat like the chicken or the beef so we are also the part of animals that's why all the animals eat the plants or meats question number six who are scavengers the answer is the hyena the wild dog and vultures are scavengers well let's know what is scavengers actually it is a kind uh, kind of animal those who loves to eat the meat of a dead animal you can see that the hyena the wild dog or the vultures are very fond of the dead body of an animal question number seven write two places where birds build their nest the answer is a in trees and answer b in buildings well it is really a familiar part that we can see the nest was created by the bird in the trees but in the uh, like it's an old building if there is any old building you can see that some of the birds like the choroi or other birds they can create their nest on the old buildings the question number eight can a baby bird see when it is born the answer is no normally uh, when a baby a baby bird born they cannot see the question number nine write their names of meat eating animals write three names of meat eating animals and the answers are number one tiger number two lion and number three is wild dog that means these three animals love to eat the meat of an animal well that was the last part of this um, question answer series of this part part number two we have finished so uh, let me tell you let me give you the another recap of this part two we have started with the uh, word meaning and you have to memorize all the word meanings you have to memorize all the multiple choice questions i know that you know how to answer this uh, multiple choice questions then we have tried to learn the fill in the blanks that means we will give you a sentence without a missing word then you have to fill that up with the missing word appropriate word then we have learned the identification and we have seen that the some of the animals pictures are given over there and we, we need to identify them and we must write their name in our copies then we have learned how to do that uh, we have to clarify e either the statement is true or not that means true false so we have found out some sentences and find out that either they are true or not then we have learned the question answer and we have seen that there are nine question answer in the spurt so that was all for today i hope you have enjoyed the class
and you have learned whatever I tried to so if there if there is any problem with this uh, video you are free to contact as below but one thing is your homework you have to finish this part too because you have to participate in the exam and you need to finish this you must write all the question answer in your copy and show your parents so that is all for the all for today you have to remember one thing you need to stay at home and stay safe Allah is thank you very much